Today we're making meatloaf and the ingredients you will need are ground beef, brown sugar, salt, pepper, half an onion, carrots, two whole eggs, five cloves of garlic, celery, breadcrumbs, and ketchup. Add two tablespoons of olive oil to your skillet on medium heat and just chop up your onions and garlic and add to the pan for about five to six minutes. And you just want to give it a good stir and just let this cook. Remove your onions and garlic and chop up your carrots and celery and cook for another five minutes. And we're just going to brown up our vegetables here for our meatloaf. After you've washed your ground beef, you want to crack two whole eggs and add that to your bowl. And then we're just going to add in our carrots, celery, and onions and garlic that we had cooked earlier. And once we've added the vegetables, we have about one cup of breadcrumbs. I'm using gluten-free breadcrumbs, but you can use um, regular, that's fine. And once we've added our breadcrumbs, we're just going to give this all a good mix. Um, make sure you have the eggs and the bread breadcrumbs incorporated because this is what's going to give our meatloaf some shape. Add half a cup of milk to our meatloaf and just give this a good mix. Add some foil to a sheet pan and spray with some Pam spray and then shape your ground beef into um, the shape of a loaf or as best you can. This should do fine. So we're going to cook on 375. This took about an hour and 15 minutes to fully cook. So just take your time with it. Next, we're going to make our glaze. So to about three tablespoons of brown sugar, you want to add about two teaspoons of black pepper. Add one teaspoon of salt. And after we've added our salt, we will be adding ketchup. So I just used Heinz ketchup and about half a cup will do the trick. I'm not going to do that on camera because that is quite difficult, but just add half a cup. So just give that a good stir here and this is about the texture that we're looking for. So after about an hour and 15 minutes in the oven, the meatloaf was ready to be sliced and we're going for about one inch slices here. Just take your time because the, the meatloaf is quite moist, but it could crumble on you. So just take your time. And we're just going to go for one inch slices all the way down. Perfect. I happen to have a cooking brush handy in my kitchen, but if you don't have one, you can use a teaspoon um, to lather on our glaze that we had prepared earlier onto our meatloaf. And you want to make sure that you're just getting all the sides, all the nooks and crannies here, because it's going to add a golden brown color and it does add that nice sweet kick to our meatloaf that we're craving for. So just get all the sides here. here you have it, an American classic homemade meatloaf. Um, this was super moist, and if you have any leftovers, just pop it in between two slices of bread and make a sandwich for the next day. Enjoy.